Most of our work in setting up a dimension involves configuring attribute properties. Let's take a closer look at that process now. When we select an attribute in the Attributes pane, we can view its properties in the Properties window. Here we can see the properties for the Sales Territory Key attribute. There are lots of properties available to configure here, but most of them are used for performance optimizations, or for special case design situations, or for changing browsing behavior in a client tool. We can tackle those properties on an as-needed basis. For now, let's focus on the properties that we'll always want to double-check and reconfigure as needed. When we create dimensions, the key column and name column are set in the wizard for the key attribute. That's the attribute that identifies each unique record in the dimension table. At minimum, we need the key column. That's the one that's used to get distinct members for our attribute. The name column contains the value that we want to display. If we don't specify a name column, then bids will use the value in the key column as the member name. We can use multiple key columns if necessary to uniquely identify an attribute member, but we can have only one name column. If we need to use multiple columns for the name, we'll need to go back to the DSV and concatenate the columns there as a named calculation, or create a named query to produce a single column with the value that we need. We should also check the name of the attribute. It should be a user-friendly name, that is, it should be something the users would recognize and understand. It should be as short as possible, but still meaningful. In this case, for example, we could change sales territory key to region because the value that displays here is actually a region name. Users don't usually know what a key is. We might also need to change the sort order. The default sort order is by name, so we'll get an alphabetical listing of members, but sometimes we need a different order. For example, displaying month names in alphabetical order is usually not very helpful. We can order by name, or by key value, or even by some other attribute available in our dimension. So let's say we had an attribute that we used just for sorting. We don't want it to be visible to the user, we just want to use it for sorting. So for attributes like that, we can disable browsing using the Attribute Hierarchy Enabled property. Usage is an important property, but not one that you probably need to change because it's usually auto-detected properly. There can be only one attribute that has a usage value of key, and that would be the attribute that's associated with the column identified as the primary key. Otherwise, the value here will be regular unless it's a parent-child hierarchy, which we'll learn more about later in this module.